Jesh Muhammad. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce that, but I have this here for you guys today. Um, yeah, this was again my first time trying this. I have to say that this was the hardest dish I tried. Not that it's really hard, but it's just the part of um, cleaning a chicken and all of that. I did that for the first time and I'm going to taste it right now. Uh, you guys will see that at the end of the video because uh, this is going to be my first try. Um, yeah, if you want to know how I did this, then stay tuned and uh, please like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you are enjoying these videos. Also, it will help me a lot. Two more days and then this is finished. And I'm telling you, I cannot wait for it to be finished. If you really like filming a cooking video that is really hard, 10 days while fasting, editing and posting everything. I don't know about you guys, I don't know how much energy you guys have while fasting, but my, my energy is low. So the dedication is real for you guys, okay? Now let's continue. Stay tuned. Today, <clears throat> this here is on the menu. This here is Jez Hama. Hama. No. Hama? <laughs> no. Uh, the thing here is today is that I need to clean the chicken and although I really love chicken, I don't like to clean chicken, I, I don't like to do this. We are going to start with doing that. Here we have chicken, so we are going to clean the chicken today following, of course, again, uh, this cooking book by Fatima and um, this is just my lifesaver this whole Ramadan so yeah and especially with this challenge um, oh whoa 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 oh okay that's a very big chicken I can and I must do this if I want to get married someday actually motivating myself right now <laughs> oh, my god. oh my god I cannot handle blood uh, nothing so this is like serious we are getting serious right now so put the chicken in this in this here so we are going to clean it so so today we are just cooking together um, yeah because I found out that I'm actually not like instructing you guys how to do this I'm actually showing how I'm doing in this challenge so yeah okay I don't know if I'm making any sense right now so I'm going to um, use this lemon, I'm going to use the juice of this lemon to clean the chicken. Um, salt. Now I'm going to just... Now I'm just going to kind of massage it in. <laughs> no, that's really wrong right now. To clean everything. Oh, this is a whole new experience in my life. Also make sure you get rid of those hairs. Also on the other side. I don't know if I can continue, I swear. I swear that I find this really hard for this is... Anyways, oh my god, yeah. That's a chicken. Now I'm going to wash it off with cold water. We're going to need two big onions. I'm going to use one big onion and two, three little ones. But now you know, like two of these will be great, two big onions. So I chopped everything because I thought it was really boring to watch this every day, me doing this. So I'm going to add half of the onions into this boil. So we are going to put the half, the other half to the side. We will need that Later, I'm going to add all the garlic, garlic, the parsley, the coriander. I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt, two bigger spoons of, I always name this bigger spoons. <laughs> and you guys have never told me anything about it, but okay, two bigger spoons of olive oil. So I guess you guys know what I mean. I love how you guys are so supportive. One and a half teaspoon of ginger powder. 
one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of paprika powder, and a half teaspoon of black pepper. I'm going to mix everything. So now I'm going to make sure that this marinade will touch the whole chicken everywhere. So now we are going to leave this um, for 30 minutes to really absorb all the everything that we put in here. I've put some sunflower oil in. Whoa! I put some sunflower oil in here, making sure that the pan is warm, making sure that the makla is warm. <laughs> And then we are going to add the chicken. We're going to put the chicken in here and everything left over too. We're going to leave it like this for five to eight minutes. So make sure to turn it. Ah! No! Nah. Okay. That starts to look good. Now I'm going to add one liter of cooking hot hot water. Okay, mixing everything a little bit. And I'm going to close it again and I'm going to leave it here for four, no, 50 minutes. But I'm also going to just do some check-ins, turn it over and uh, Okay, now I don't know what you guys think of my chicken, but I'm not happy. I don't know if it's supposed to look like that, but I feel like I kind of burned it a little bit. But I'm going to put it on a plate and I'm going to smear it in with butter. So this chicken is going into the oven for, for 30 minutes um, at 200 degrees. Now we are going to make sure that this is going to be nice and thick, uh, a thick consistency. I think I have a lot of water. So now we are going to cook this. That's the onion, the leftover onion. So now I'm going to just cook this until it's a little bit thicker. So I'm going to bake some almonds. I'm going to add some green olives to this. And then now it's time to put our chicken. Oh. Oh, it's very good now. So we have our chicken and then now we are going to add the juice. And we'll be just going around it. Okay, this is starting to look like something. <laughs> oh, I'm proud. You can also add some eggs around the plate, but I am okay with this. <laughs> just waiting for my almonds. Okay, this is it. How do you guys think it's looking? Oh, I think I should not show this this part. What do you guys think? How does it look? Um, does it look like how it's supposed to look? I don't know. Um, but what do you guys think? Uh, it smells so good and I'm going to try it right now with you guys. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay, the chicken is very good. Whoa. Okay. Okay. I do not believe that I did this. Mm. This is the moment in my life I'm going to start saying, yes, I can cook. Before this day, I would say, I cannot cook. No, I cannot cook. But from now, I know I can cook. Because this is like I'm eating at my aunt's or my family in Morocco. Anyways, I'm going to continue eating this delicious food well thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you guys 